there'll be a show and I'll get money. This is a 12 hour drive to Brooklyn for maybe some money, maybe a year from now. And I just wasn't in a financially position to gamble when I was so convinced it was not an actual opportunity because of what they said to all the other guys. Right. So I wasn't gonna go. I wasn't like mad that I wasn't gonna go. I thought I was smart for not going. Like I'd be stupid to waste all that time and gas and drive to Brooklyn for a script reading. So behind my back, my mother pawned some jewelry and filled the truck up with gas and said, you're going now, aren't you? Oh, great, yeah, now I have to. You know, so I wasn't gonna go. But I went because she filled the truck up with gas. So I don't want to take this trip. This trip's going to be horrible. I'm going to go up there and, and maybe talk a few lines and drive home feeling frustrated, you know, but whatever. So mom, mom forced me to do it. So I take, I have a, a half brother that I don't know very well. And he's had a kind of a rough life. So I thought I'll take him with me and we'll stop, not at every exit, but every rest stop or welcome center on the freeway. We'll stop there and smoke and laugh and have a good time. and. It'll be like a cross country trip with him. We'll get to know each other better. And maybe when this, that'll be the only thing good comes out of this trip, because I'm clearly not gonna get this wrong. You know, so I'll make a good time with him. So then by the time I got to Brooklyn though, I was so high. I, Cause this is 12 hours of riding and smoking. So I was like really high when I got to Brooklyn. I just couldn't process it in my brain that even numbers were on one side and odd were on the other. So then my conspiracy Hot riddled brain <laughs> thinks someone set me up. Someone sent me to an editor that doesn't exist. Who could have done this? Was it Ian Rotten? Was it John Sandy? Who did this? That's what I'm thinking. Who set me up? As I'm walking right by the place I'm supposed to go to. This is the biggest ribbon wrestling. Yeah, who did this to me? I can't believe I fell for this. God. You know. Damn that Vince McMahon. And trying to find a payphone in Brooklyn is damn near impossible. So, because I, I, I don't believe in carrying a phone at the time. I have a minor. Old school phone now, but I've never had one of those fancy ones you guys have. <laughs> no, never in my life will I have, nor do I want one. I, I bought one in 97. You can look at porn on this. I can, that's my laptop's for. But this, <laughs> that would cheapen the relationship I have with my laptop. Oh, oh my God, just in about two hours. I'm going to go to the washroom. I would, I would not want it to cheap. No, no, no. I, that's only for me and my laptop. All right, anyways, back to the story. That's all for me and some phone. Yeah, it was a story. You don't want, you know, jizz and fucking spider webs all over there. Just... Yeah, then you touch it and you 